Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean, owner and lead developer of Space Shark Studios, and in this series we're going to be teaching Godot. So in this lesson I'll be teaching you about the Godot editor, including things like navigation commands and the different windows. So to start up, let's go ahead and load our tutorial package back up. And this time we need to make sure and load the main scene that we created last time. You can go ahead and double click that to bring it up. As you can see, I already added an element to this scene. That's for demonstration purposes. In the next episode or lesson, I will teach you how to put things in the scene. So don't worry about that now. For now, as you saw, I moved things around. So this is actually called panning. Um, to be able to navigate around this scene, you can either hold down your middle mouse button, as I was doing, or you can click on the pan little hand up in the corner and then click and drag like normal. Besides that, there is the select, which you can't really see it here, but I knew that it was there. That allows you to select objects in the scene. If you want to move them, you click on the move button or press W. So now I can move the object around the scene. Finally, sometimes you want to rotate things. You can press E or click this rotate button. And now, I'm rotating the little cube that I'd made, or I guess a square. Control Z will undo. Um, besides that, I will now go over the different parts of the screen. So up here is where you can switch between the 2D view, 3D view, scripts view, which we'll go into later, and then asset library that you've seen something similar to before where you can pull in things from online. We're gonna be sticking with the 2D view while we go through the 2D tutorials. Over on the right, you can see the little window that says scene on it. So this is where we made the scene object before, where we made the nodes that go into the game, um, I'll probably refer to this as a hierarchy at some points or just your scene list. Uh, that's where everything that you put into your game is going to be on a nice kind of folder structure. Down below it is the inspector. As you can see, the inspector holds different information about whatever is selected up in this scene list or over here in the game. It allows you to fine-tune different things about your objects or your nodes. So for instance, uh, my node is at the position 3, 1. So if I want to center it, I would do 0, 0. And as you could see, it moved. So for make it a little bit more obvious, if I write in 10 and press Enter, it moved the side. If I do 100, it moves a lot. So this is where you can fine tune stuff when moving things around like this might not be as accurate as you would like. Besides that, you have the available asset list. So this is where we see our scene. This is where we can see images that we can bring into the game, um, anything like that. So anything that you're bringing in from outside as well as anything that you've saved like a scene in the game is going to be showing up over here. So I now want to get into sort of advanced, but still kind of moderate ideas in here. Um, so you saw we have select, move, rotate, and to navigate around, you have the pan feature. Um, there's also something called snap, which you'll see now that I move this around, you see how it snaps. And over here, it's on an increment of 10. So going down, it goes 60, 70, 80. So snapping is a great feature because it means that you are much more likely to hit or to drag it to a spot that you want it to be. 
Um, unlike if you're freehanding it without snapping, you know, oh, look, now I'm at 119.73. If I want to make sure that another object is lined up with that, it's real hard to look at this one, go over here, change the numbers around, see if they line up, zoom in, are they really lined up? Oh, that was bad. Now I'm down at fractions of a pixel. Okay, this is easier. I'm gonna snap it and boom. All right, we're back in business. It's kind of hard to tell what you're snapping to right now though, isn't it? To fix that, we can go over and show grid. Now all of a sudden, you know exactly what it is you're snapping to. You can see it's every 10 pixels you are snapping. And this makes designing things like 2D systems a lot nicer because as you've probably seen, platformers, RPGs, anything like that in this 2D space is usually pretty blocky. Um, so it's a lot easier to line things up exactly how you like it. Well, that's it for learning about the editor. Of course, the editor goes a lot deeper. There are a lot of sections that I have not covered yet. Um, we'll get to those when we get to those. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. And this has been Sean with Space Shark Teaches.